you guys, ADJC1559 here, bringing you L.A. Noir. Now I found a few glitches that you may or may not know about. I also threw some funny stuff in there to so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now the good part about all this fun stuff is that it's all really close together, and you don't even have to use a map marker to get to it. All you have to do is go to Cases, the Traffic Desk, Choose Streets of LA Free Room, and you're already there. Now you'll start off here near the police station. What you need to do is turn around, ruin this guy's pizza place, I always do that, uh, go up the stairs here, and what you're gonna wanna do is park your car about right here. Make sure you drive up a little bit so that the front portion of your vehicle will be on the stairs. Now get out of the car, run to the front of it, Run onto the car, then get over to the railing. Run across it, and then jump off. That's it. It's that easy. One thing you're going to want to remember, though, is that you got to jump off when you're on the slanted part over here. You don't want to fall off here. You see, if you fall off in the correct area, Cole will survive. falling off at any point before that will result in death. Even the slightest fall from that height will kill you. So just stick to the slanted area and you'll be fine. And Cole must practice his acrobatics so he can go pretty dang far. What's the farthest you'll be able to send Cole? That's my record, that white line there. And if that didn't ruin Cole's day, this will. You can get hit by cars. Yep, all you gotta do to get hit by a car is run out in front of them when they're driving. It's uh, harder than it looks. Now as I'm sure you all know, you can push people all over the place. This is LA Noir. But, did you know you can kill them by pushing them? You can actually push somebody down these stairs and it will hurt them pretty badly. In fact, just two pushes and they're dead. You can even push them up the stairs and they'll go flying. You can't go around hitting broads. I'm gonna get good and tight on Friday. So besides pushing people, if you head up into this area over here and you, well I guess you push somebody onto this wall here, the following will happen. Yes, that's right, they will be in this glitched state where they get stuck in the wall. And all you have to do is push them. That's right, just push them like so and watch. You push them, they will stand up, they will do this motion with their hand, and then they will just moonwalk into the barrier. You'll also see a glitch from time to time where the person wants to regenerate and appear back to where he first fell from. The only other way to get them out of the wall is by simply turning your screen away from them. Now that you've had enough fun pushing people, head over this way, 
up these stairs and get in your car and drive over to here. Now, this is a technique you can use to fall off any edge in L.A. Noir. That's right. Right before he falls off, he does this little dance and it won't let you jump off. But with the technique I'm about to show you, you can fall off any ledge in the game. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but here's what you have to do. See where I've placed these arrows? Move your stick in those directions, almost like doing a half circle. And eventually, with enough tries, you'll be able to make coal fall off anywhere. Of course, this works off any ledge in the game, even the intolerance set in the mission Fallen Idol. Now for this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to take your car over to this area where you were previously falling. Get out of the car. I usually jump over the fence here. What you're trying to do is get your partner away from his side of the car. Get back in the car and then run your partner over the edge of the building. Yes, just any way you can, get your partner out of the car and run him over the side of the building. You know I'm allergic to dog hair. You're dragging your feet. Where's the aspirin? You're just a big hypochondriac. You may lie. You're too relaxed at this time. The lights are out. How would you know anyway with that sleep? Get out of the way next time! Now what you're going to want to do is head over to the building here where you can climb this pole. If you don't want to drop your car down there and get out and walk over to it, there's plenty of other ways to get there. This isn't one of them. You can try driving straight across to the other building, or if you're fast enough, you can drop down in this area and park your car right about here to experience a weird glitch where these items don't spawn and then they do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play What Will Happen Next? Will A. The car completely go over the building and fall on the floor? B. The car land on the building and be completely safe? or C, the car spontaneously explodes for no reason. Now that you're on the roof, you can literally just run off the side of it. And what'll happen is Cole will just fling back up to the top. It's very fun, and Cole won't die from it you'll probably also experience all sorts of weird glitches. And it doesn't just work here on this side of the wall, it'll also work across from here on the other side in this certain specific area. After appearing up on top, you'll sometimes get stuck, and what you're gonna need to do is run either right or left of your current position. If by some chance you get stuck in a position like this, you can't move, you can't do anything. In fact, the only thing I've found that helps is if you push start and then go to map immediately after pushing start. Doing this repeatedly over and over will, for some reason, shake Cole and make him fall. Now, if you're unlucky enough for something like this to happen to you, well, you're pretty much screwed. This is the L.A. Noir Underworld. If you fall down through here, the following will happen.
There is nothing you can do to get out of this place except for pushing the start button and quitting the game. Now you might get lucky and instead when you fall, Cole will flap his arms and legs around like so. And when this happens, you actually do respawn. But of course, glitches can happen, like this glitch here. It looks like he's wearing a cape. Bukowski, get a Bounce! I'm coming! Try to keep up, Stefan. Even your partner can join you in the underworld if you like. Now you guys have a fun time glitching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later.